These are the cups. Just two words, Wisconsin Dairy, soured Sugar River's thriving yogurt operation. Well, suspensions means you can't operate. And so if you, if you can't operate, you're, you're essentially out of business. Out of business because Sugar River's owner, Ron Paris, was in a supply bind after his local dairy closed. So uh, I asked Iowa to produce a little yogurt for us. But going out of state in March for two weeks led to regulators shutting Sugar River down for good. In addition to the product and the fruit that was quarantined, there was 2,500 pounds of milk in this tank and we were requested to dump that down the drain. We have to be making sure that Wisconsin consumers get safe food that's honestly sold. DADCAP Food Safety Administrator Dr. Steve Ingham says Sugar River should have known better. To make the product in Iowa and then sell it in those containers is basically uh, fraudulent. To lift the lid on the problem, Ron has roughly 180,000 cups just like this up in his attic and at his warehouse that he can't recycle. He can't really do anything with. I still have to get rid of, and I don't have a sensible way to get rid of it, is about 10,000 pounds of cups. I wanted to show you our $10,000 closet. Uh, and it's $10,000 because of the amount of film that we have to buy each time when we start our packaging. At least $20,000 in packaging now sitting on shelves. That attitude about compliance was a, a line in the sand that couldn't have been crossed and we got caught in it. Ron says he's done with the state. I'm happier to do this in Iowa, Illinois and Virginia, yes. Katherine Larson, 27 News.